perhaps as a historian, you may be able to appreciate this kind of thing. That's probably how you see the world, but there's several ways to see a, a human being. Like Vladimir Putin is an example. One is a political figure that's currently doing actions in the world, geopolitics internally, the politics of Russia. But there's also that human being in a historical context. And collecting information about that person in the historical context is also very valuable. Yeah. So you could see interviews with Hitler in uh, 39, 40, 41 as being very bad and detrimental to all that is good in the world. But at the same time, it's important to understand that human mind how it, uh, how power affects that mind, how power corrupts it, how they see the world. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I, I would be all in favor, and maybe he will, if Vladimir Putin would sit down with you. Absolutely. I, I, I don't think you're boosting someone like that when you ask them tough questions. In fact, I think that's what we need to do. Those sorts of figures tend to insulate themselves from tough questions. So just to restate, I, I, I am for the Lex Fridman interview of uh, those sorts of figures. Yeah. I am not for the puff piece on Fox and Friends uh, where they just come on and they're asked, oh, isn't it, T tell us what you think of this. Yes. Tell us what you think of that. You know, so, but there, there's a balance there because a lot of people that interview somebody like Vladimir Putin, all they do is hard hitting questions. They often demonstrate a lack of knowledge of the perspective of the Russian people and the president. There's not an empathy to understanding that this is a popularly elected, uh, you can criticize that notion, but this is still a leader that represents the beliefs of a large number of people. And they have their own life story. They see the world, they believe they're doing good for the world. And I don't, um, that idea seems to not permeate the questions and the thoughts that people say because they're afraid of being attacked by the people back home, fellow journalists, for not being hard enough. Well, maybe. I think that's probably true. I think in my experience with interviewers is that um, a lot of them are really lazy. You're not, which is why yes. I like talking yes. to you. The, the, can I just say, okay, this is not you saying it. Can I just rant? If you're sitting across from Xi Jinping or from Vladimir Putin, you... You, you should be fired if you have not read like at least several books on the guy. The the surprising lack of research that people do leading right, up to it. Right. So you need to be a historian or a biographer. You need to be the kind of person that writes biographies or histories before you sit in front of the person. Not a, uh, not a low effort journalist. And it's so surprising to me that I think they're probably really busy and it's probably not part of the culture of the people that do interviews to do deep, deep, like investigative. You need to be the kind of person that lives that idea. Like see it as a documentary that you work on for three years kind of thing. Anyway, that uh, of course some journalists do do that and they do that masterfully and that's the best of journalism. But I think a lot of the times when the questions are, as you said, uh, out of touch with the society that person, that person is leading, right. it's because the interviewer hasn't taken the time. And I understand, uh, you can't be an expert on every subject, but you can do what you do, right? You mm -hmm. you read my book to prepare for this. You looked things up. You, you had a sense of the person you're talking to, and you put the time in to do that. Uh, this is what I always tell my students, right? The secret to success in anything is outworking other people. Be more prepared, <laughs> right? What you show is like an iceberg. It's the tip of the iceberg, right? Is what, what people see. It's all the work that goes on below the surface. And if you work hard enough, which I aspire to do, at the end of the day, just like an animal farm, you'll be like the horse boxer <laughs> and slaughtered unjustly <laughs> by those that are much more powerful than you. Because but you'll they, be happy when you're slaughtered. <laughs> you have lived for the right ideal <laughs> and history will remember you fondly.